हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पेबल्स एंड वेलकम टू आवर स्पोकन हिंदी थ्रू इंग्लिश क्लास स्पोकन हिंदी के हमारे क्लास में आप सभी का स्वागत है नमस्ते टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द वर्ड्स अबाउट द फ्लावर्स सम कॉमन फ्लावर्स विल टेक विल टेक ओनली कॉमन फ्लावर्स बिकॉज दीज आर generally you will see outside and yeah. when you go for to buy bouquets and you know you need some flowers you should know the traditional hindi names exactly so the flowers in hindi means phool phool ya phool now you don't say phool because if you say phool it will become a english so say phoo phoo pha pha phool okay so now we'll take one by one uh, the names of uh, flowers The first is jasmine. First is jasmine, which is very nice, fragrant flu uh, flower, and it is called chameli. Uh, in India, you will see the names of the girls are yeah. uh, mostly the names of the girls are based on the flower names. Yeah. yeah. And in India, you will see that many people are wearing the flowers, garlands, and yeah, their hair. Yeah, exactly. Also. So that one of the common hair garland is made from chameli, chameli. flower. So majorly in India, the flowers are used uh, not for bouquet and decoration, uh, daily decoration purpose. Generally, the ladies use it for the garland and uh, even for prayers. For prayers and temples, gods yeah. in temples, majorly in churches, the, uh, so many places they are using flowers. The flowers are use, used. Generally in India, uh, we mostly don't uh, do the daily bouquets at in home in flower vase etc. We don't do. you rarely find the houses where such things are done yeah the so basically we do it for temples and uh, personal grooming only yeah, personal grooming so right. the next is the lotus lotus in hindi it is called kamal kamal ka phool and the lotus is a national a national flower of india yeah so this is called kamal now chameli kamal both are the names of girls also yeah. okay then uh, we are we have the magnolia Now magnolia is another fragrant flower that is called champa. Champa, chameli are the you know combination of flowers which are generally used by ladies. Champa and chameli. Yeah, champa and chameli. Generally, uh, this lotus camel is not used for the personal grooming. It is used for the god. Yeah. Uh, the next is the marigold. Marigold is uh, very commonly used in Indian houses. That is gende ka phool. Yeah. Or genda. for all the uh, auspicious occasions all the festivals you will see the garlands of uh, genda or marigold on your door it's in yellow and orange colors yeah yellow and, and orange and they make colors. rangolis also of genda flowers yeah, exactly the rangolis are also made that means the designs are also yes. made in front of the house in front of the god in temples by this on any auspicious genda. occasions also everywhere you will find this type yeah, of rangolis yeah, exactly then a uh, very common it's a rose rose is gulab ka phool now gulab again is the name you can identify yeah, somewhere exactly hey, now uh, one more thing uh, while speaking generally this name you get more in the north india yeah. and the name of the girl is gulab still they will call uh, call her as a gulabo Gulabo, yes. They will call as a gulabo <laughs> right. in the general form. <laughs> yes. Then it is a uh, Delonyx regia. This is a gul mohar flower. So yeah. gul mohar is a na orange type of flower, and from where the colors are also extracted. The gul mohar are in different colors. Yeah, yeah. Not only orange, you will get a pink common, also. Most common is orange yeah. color. You will get pink also. Yeah. This gul mohar. this uh, flowers are not used anywhere in the personal grooming also no. and for the god also they are not used these are just decorative uh, trees and the flowers are kept on the tree as it is we, we don't use it yeah, in not, india we don't use it not much then the daffodils daffodil in hindi it is called nargis this is a urdu word nargis So this is a, a nargis. It's not a Hindi word. It is a Urdu word. Urdu or Farsi, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Urdu or yeah. Farsi word. The next flower we have the periwinkle. Now periwinkle is a flower which is always blooming. So that is why its name is Sada Bahar. Sada 
Sada means always. Sada. And Bahar means always blooming. Yeah. And uh, this uh, this flower generally used in the household uh, for the household god. Yes. Yes. Okay. For Those household. Those who have their own gardens. Yeah. They generally have this periwinkle in their garden. Yeah. Periwinkle in their garden. It's a they nice. Made, they use this flowers for their gods. Yeah. yeah. Daily. Daily uh, people use it. Then we have the sunflower. Sunflower. Sunflower as the name suggests it's called Suraj Mukhi. Sunflower is majorly cultivated in India for the oil purpose, oil. not for the decorative or anything. Nowadays in bouquets, I have seen the sunflowers also. It looks weird, but uh, they use it. They use this for the side bouquets and the big huge vases. They, yeah. That time they use this uh, sunflower. Exactly. Then we have the tulip. Now tulip is called Kanda Pushpa. Now Pushpa in Hindi is again called as Phool. Yes. Phool, it's a very pure word. Actually, it is a Sanskrit word. Pushpa. Pushpa means also a flower. Yeah. And Kanda, Kanda is generally a root. I don't know why this uh, name is yeah. by the Kanda root because it has got no connection with no. the root. But it's named like that. It's named Kanda like that. Pushpa. So, the next is the lily. Now, lily in uh, commonly people call lily only. But in Hindi, it is called Kumud or Kumudini. Two names are there. Actually, for me also, many of the Hindi <laughs> names are um, many names are new for me. Uh, so, Kumud or Kumudini are two okay. names given to. But generally, Hindi. in the market, if you go, you will they generally will call, call as a lily. Lily. Yes. lily. The next flower is the hibiscus. Now, hibiscus in Hindi it is called gudhal. Gudhal. Now, no one. Will much know about no, gudhal. No, I don't think anybody will know. It is Generally, also called China rose. It is also called hibiscus. But in Hindi, many very less people might yeah. know. But in the central gudhal. part, south part of India, you may yes. call it as the jaswanda. Yes, jaswanda. jaswanda. It is. Uh, it comes in the red and pink in color. And generally, for it is uh, uh, offered to Lord Ganesh. Yes. All over the India, for Lord Ganesh, this hibiscus flower is offered. Yeah. Then we have the poppy. Now, poppy is very commonly used as a actual drug, but the poppy drugs. flowers are very beautiful. It's called Afim flowers. Afim flowers. Uh, while uh, in the spices, I think we yeah, have we covered have the poppy seeds, uh, which is used for making sweets. It has got, uh, means this poppy flowers don't have any, any kind of narcotic properties. It is a very beautiful flowers flower. Flowers are very beautiful. Yeah. Then it's a prime rose. Now primrose, it's uh, primrose is generally called basanti gulab because it's yellow in color, yes. small flowers. So basanti gulab. So uh, these are some of the flowers. If uh, many Normally, other yeah. flowers are there, we'll cover it in yes. the other video. But uh, when you come to India, just remember few things that. Uh, for the god purpose, in the temples, you can use only Chameli, you can use Kamal, Champa. Genda Fool is not offered to god, but the garlands are made. Yeah, garlands uh, yeah. at the entrance to the houses. Yeah, they are decorated the with Genda. Or, or you can make a rangoli or the yes. decoration in front of the temple. So, yes. this this is not and offered this, to god. Uh, Gudal or hibiscus or china rose is offered to, as he said, to Ganpati. G Ganesh, Ganesh, Lord Ganesh. Then Gulab is sometimes offered. Uh, for the god also yes. for the goddess Lakshmi mm. you offer the gulab then uh, these Nargis or the Gulmohar or uh, Nargis and Gulmohar are not offered to god etc then Sadabahar those are ornamental, are ornamental yeah. flowers Sadabahar is generally not offered for the temples but it in can the grow house anywhere house. you might see yeah. it is anywhere growing and that's why people use it again, at homes yeah. again gods. Suraj Mukhi is not offered yeah. Tulip is not offered Lily is sometimes offered Hibiscus is offered and these two again not, not offered, offered to the God. So, uh, when you go to the temples, because the temples are very beautiful, you go to South India, you will see the flowers in different types. Means, first of all, you will see the small garlands, which females used for their hair, hair yeah. decoration, grooming purpose. grooming purpose. Then the big garlands, which is offered to the temple, yes. offered to the God or suppose you buy a new car, you uh, put the garland yes, yes. Uh, on the car, etc. Okay. So, in general, uh, 
since you are going i don't think any tourist is going to buy any flower or something but for general names you should know for non hindi speaking people they should know the common names that's why we are yes, trying to exactly, cover this yes exactly exactly so that's all in this video thank you very much and we will cover uh, if there are more uh, flowers uh, as per your comments uh, we will definitely cover it in the next video so that's all for today yeah. please uh, give please, please give your suggestions uh, comments and do like share our video subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell, bell icon so uh, in the comments somebody has given us yeah. uh, the recent comment that we should write in hindi that means in hindi script devanagari script so it is not possible because these videos are majorly for the people who know english who cannot read hindi but they want to learn, learn spoken, spoken hindi. hindi yeah so here we have to so we, write we can write no problem but yeah. you will not understand so it's better you understand the language which you can read yeah. that's why we are trying to write in english yes. another comment was there that we should give the links to all our yeah. videos in every video's description definitely we can give or we will give just the link playlist for the playlist link. Yeah. playlist link uh, definitely we can give if any other suggestions uh, are there please uh, write in comments Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste.